The women's draw for the French Open has just come out. It is absolutely stacked, but we have some players that are pulled out. So let's go straight to the withdrawal list. So here is the withdrawal list for the ladies. So we've got some new names that have been that have pulled out in the last couple of days, starting with Sofia Kennan. She's pulled out. Pavlyuchenko, a last year's finalist, has also pulled out. Svetlina, she's out. Von Drusova, also out. Tormo has just pulled out, and so has Towson in the last couple of days. So some big names pulling out, and a lot of finalist from the French Open. We have Iga Spiontek. She is at the top of the draw, of course. Uh, the top 32 seeds in this one. We've got 32 seeds. We have uh, Spiontek getting a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Risk or Yastremska in the second round. Then we've got uh, Schmidlova versus Kuchova. Winner of that match takes on either Kovinic. Or the 25th seed, Samson Nova in the second round. Uh, Halep, number 19 seed, she takes on Konju in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Zanevska or Zhang in the second round. Then we've got Cornet versus Doi. Winner of that match takes on either Bronzetti or the number 13 seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. Sviantek's got a tough draw. Third round, fourth round, they could be very tough. Very, very tough. Uh, you can see there, Samson Oba, third round for Sviantek. We all know that Samson Oba played very well against... Uh, Shviontek a couple weeks ago. Halep, Ostapenko, very dangerous for Shviontek as well. So this part of the draw, I mean, she did not get a nice draw, Iga Shviontek. Next section of the draw, we've got Pagula, the 11 seed, taking on Wong. Winner of that match takes on either Kalanina or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Sharif versus Kostyuk. Winner of that match takes on either Lou or the 24th seed, Zedenshek, in the second round. Now, Zedenshek, of course, made the semifinals here last year. Then you've got the number 30 seed, Alexandrova, taking on Minin. Winner of that match takes on either Bagu or Paulini in the second round. Then you got the, uh, the wild card Jean. Jean Jean? It's a crazy last name. Uh, winner uh, against uh, Diaz. Winner of that match takes on either. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one. The, the French wild card taking on the number eight seed Pushkova in the second round. This section of the draw is super open. You got Pushkova, who's not in good form, but the highest seed. Pagula, who is in some form. Maybe Pagula. Maybe she's the one to watch out for in this. Uh, you know, Alexandrova's been pretty good lately. Uh, Zedenshek also, you know, played well here last year. Maybe that's someone to watch out for. Of course, the winner of this section of the draw will take on the Sviantek section. So we could get Pushkova Sviantek. We could get Pagula Sviantek. We could get Pagula Halep. Who the hell knows what's going to happen? Next part of the draw, we've got Badosa. The number three seed taking on Ferro. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Juvan in the second round. Then we've got... Another qualifier versus Rakamova. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the 29 seed Kudamatova in the second round. A lot of qualities in this section. Then we've got the number 22nd seed Keys taking on Kalinskaya. Winner of that match takes on either Towson or Garcia in the second round. Then we've got Volley Nets versus Golovic. Winner of that match takes on either Ruz or the 16th seed Rabakina in the second round. A lot of qualities in this part. A lot of qualities in this section. Uh, Badosa, obviously the favorite to get out of that. And I think she'll like her chances. I mean, she's got a pretty good draw. Uh, Rabakina also could be uh, could be a fourth round opponent. That could be fun. Rabakina's had some good results despite uh, she's lost to the same player the last few weeks in Teichman. So who knows? You know, I think I think Badosa's got a good section though. She'll like that. The fourth section of the draw, the, the bottom part of the top half. Uh, number nine seed Collins taking a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Rogers or Martin Kova in the second round. Then we've got Udvardi versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Pedersen or the 20th seed Kazakina in the second round. Then we've got the 28th seed Georgie taking on Zhang. Winner of that match takes on either another quali or Putin Seva in the second round. Then we've got Brengel taking on another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Piquet or the number seven seed Sabalenka. So look, Sabalenka, Kazakina, Collins, Putin Seva, they're all being pretty good. So this is an interesting section. We could be getting someone random come out of this section. Of course, this section of the draw will take on the Badosa section. So if we go by the seeds, Sabalenka Badosa. That could be a quarterfinal. Maybe Badosa versus Collins. That could be a quarterfinal as well. And of course, that section, these sections take on the Sviantek part of the draw, which means we could be getting Sabalenka Sviantek in the semifinal, Badosa semifinal against Sviantek. Could all be happening in that part of the draw. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number six seed, Jabor, taking on uh, Lynette in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Trevison or Dart in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Saville. Winner of that match takes on either Bondaire or the 32nd seed, Kvitova, in the second round. Then we've got the 21st seed, Kerber, taking on Fretch. Winner of that match takes on either Watson or Giacomo 
in the second round. Then we've got Sastovic versus Wong. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 12 seed, Raru Kanu, who, look, uh, depending on who that qualifier is, could have a good start to this tournament. Now, of course, you can see there we've got, you know, Kerber versus Raducanu third round, possibly. Jabor versus Raducanu fourth round. And I think if Raducanu made it to the fourth round, that would be a very, very good achievement. I don't think, I don't think uh, the third round would be enough, but I mean, Raducanu getting to the fourth round would be, that would be a pretty solid, especially if she lost to Jabor. That'd be a pretty solid, uh, solid tournament. All right, number 14 seed, Bencic. She takes on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either a uh, Andrescu or a qualifier as well. So Bianca Andrescu versus Belinda Bencic. Replay of the 2019 US Open semis. Could happen in the second round. Sinia Kova takes on Mardic. Winner of that match takes on either Mladenovic or the 17th seed, Fernandez. Very interesting part of the draw, this one. Then you've got one of the best first round matches on the men or women's side. 27th seed Anisimova taking on Naomi Osaka in the first round. We're watching that one. No doubt about that. We have to watch that one. Winner of that match plays a quali, so it only gets a little easier for that person uh, because they've got two qualies going at it. Then we've got Mune versus a uh, versus Mukova. Winner of that match takes on either Burrell or the number four seed Zachary in the second round. This section is very interesting because you've got Bencic, uh, you know, Anisimova, Zachary, Andrescu, all shown good clay court skills this, you know, either over their careers or in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Osaka, obviously, is a Grand Slam champion. I mean, you got to keep an eye on her. And Fernandez as well is uh, is pretty, you know, can be handy on clay. So, and Mukova as well. I mean, there's a lot of, this is a, this is a tough section. This is a very tough section. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Jabor section. So we could be getting Jabor versus Zachary in the quarterfinals. We could be getting, which we got last week in Rome, which was a, an epic match. Uh, we could be getting, I don't know, Benchich versus Raducanu if we want to go with some uh, out of the out of the box names. The next section of the draw, the number five seed Contivate. She takes on Tomanovic in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Sharma or Gracheva in the second round. Then we've got Davis versus Buskova. Winner of that match takes on either Ruse or the number 31 seed Mertens in the second round. Then we've got the number 18 seed Goff taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Van Udvank or Lee in the second round. Then we've got Hadid Maya versus Qualifier. Winner of that match takes on a very tricky first round match between Kanepi and the number 10 seed Muguruza. We we're going at it in the first round. That's a very tough first round for Muguruza. She has not been in good form either. So uh, that's a tough, tough draw. Uh, but I mean, Goff, she has a good draw. I think she's the best player out of the bunch and got to the quarterfinals of the French last year. So I'd be backing Goff for this section of the draw. I think that she's the one to watch. Last part of the draw. We've got Azarenka, the number 15 seed, taking on Bogdan. Winner of that match takes on either Dodden or Petkovic in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Gelfi. Winner of that match takes on either Pera or the 23rd seed, Teichman, in the second round. Then we've got the 26th seed, Castella, taking on Maria. Winner of that match takes on either Stevens or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Osorio versus the wildcard, Tan. Winner of that match takes on either Parry or the number two seed and defending champion, Krejcikova, who we haven't seen play for what seems like months and months because of injuries. So this part of the draw is really, really interesting because Krejcikova is not in form. We haven't seen her at all. She's a defending champion. How far is she going to go with no matches? Uh, but Teichman's in good form. Azarenka could be a dangerous player. Castellas had a pretty good year. Stevens is a former finalist. This could be a random part of the draw. I mean, I, I'd be backing Teichman. I think Teichman's been in good form. She's in the top of the power rankings for a reason. So I'd be looking at Teichman. The winner of this section will take on the winner of the Contivate section. So possibly by the seeds. Contivate versus Krejcikova in the quarterfinals. Uh, Muguruza versus Krejcikova, which we all know is always going to be interesting to watch that one. Fireworks for sure. Uh, or maybe if you want to go outside the box, Teichman versus Goff. That could be a random, uh, could be a quarterfinal. And of course, that those sections take on the Zachary and Jabor section. So we could be getting Jabor versus Contivate. Zachary versus Contivate. Goff versus Anisimova. I mean, look, women's game, always random. Who knows what could happen down the bottom half of the draw. But who's going to win this tournament? Because I I think we all, we're all going to say Sviantec, right? But I don't know. I, I feel like her draw is not as easy as... It seems, but then again, she makes everything look easy, even when she has a tough draw like last week in Rome. So what do you reckon? Who's going to win the ladies French Open? Are you going to go outside the box? Do you think it's going to be Bedosa? I did pick Bedosa this time last year, so I'll stick with her. 
Um, I'll, I'll go with Badassa. I think Shiontek might cave into the pressure. I think it's way too much pressure. And I think I'm going to go with Badassa because I picked her last year and I'm going to just stick with my pick. But, um, I mean, who knows, right? It's a great opportunity for Goff to go far on a slam. Uh, maybe a semi-final. I mean, she could really go far. Zachary, can she redeem herself after last year? Jabor, do well at a slam. Or is it going to be Eager? Is Eager just going to wipe the floor with everybody like always? 